hostiles. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? Science is the business of disproving God. That is its entire mission. It doesn't matter what branch of science you're in. That's the goal. To disprove the Bible and disprove the existence of God. In that context, the idea of the Antarctic Treaty restricting all activity to scientific research only explains a great deal about what they believe is in Antarctica. In today's video, I'd like to share three scriptures out of the Bible that I believe reference this destination, this land that we refer to as Antarctica. Now the first scripture, let me find it here one second, is out of Acts. These are the final words Jesus said after he was resurrected to his followers. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now some newer translations take that last part and say the ends of the earth, plural. That's not what that means. The uttermost part, that word uttermost, has a very specific definition in the concordance, and it means the fringe, it means the tip, or it means the southernmost part of a map. The second scripture, Matthew 24 and 14, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. There are many believe that until the gospel of Jesus Christ is heard by all of the nations of the world, the end cannot come based on this scripture. Now this is the third one that ties it all together. Matthew 12 and 42. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Now, this is the part that confirms the first scripture. See, she, singular, came from the uttermost parts of the earth. Well, one person can only come from one place, can they not? I can't be from both Africa and South America at the same time. I can come from one place going to one place. So this uttermost part of the earth is a specific place. And I'll give you guys links to all of the different places in the Bible where we, they use this term, uttermost. And I truly believe it's Antarctica. What we call Antarctica had a different name. I've used this image before. Because this game, this World of Warcraft... There's somebody that works for them that has a very keen understanding of history and has been able to kind of morph their storylines and weave in 
different events from history, and this particular most recent one, where this demon shatters the veil in a place that looks virtually identical to Antarctica, is just, hits a little too close to home for me. This demon queen of the south, which is what she is. Back in 1936, the Germans, four years before they started the war, had people in Antarctica attempting to secure, according to history, whale oil. Now they were planning for war, so they wanted to make sure they had their own sources and supplies of things. They didn't want to have to continue to purchase it from Norway or be slaved to purchasing it from Norway, which they had done before, at least up until that point historically. Now, if they were down there and had stumbled upon something that they didn't know and then came back with this, it could have changed the whole dynamic of the war. While it started out being just for food, what they found could have completely altered their strategy because going into Poland and then signing the non-aggression pact with the Russians and then finding what they found in Belgium and then only a couple of years later violating that uh, non-aggression pact and invading Russia, that that's just doesn't make sense to me unless some new information was introduced to the leadership of Germany in the 40s. Many people don't realize that that old region, for the most of history, was referred to as the Holy Roman Empire, not Germany. It's actually where we get the term Germain. But I really believe the Holy Roman Empire exists today, just not under that name. And that it's being administered from five places in the world. Luxembourg. Liechtenstein, Belgium, Monaco, and Spain. Now, where does that come from? It has to do with this thing called the Order of the Holy Sepulchre. It's an award that's very exclusive. But the very first, by the way, expedition to Antarctica that was able to win her there was done by the Belgians. This Belgian King Baudouin, his death was, his funeral, was the only one ever attended by the Queen of England in person. And he wears this award. This is the Order of Leopold. They gave this award to every member of that expedition. This is usually to Antarctica, only reserved for royalty. It's the highest honor you can get. And he wears this everywhere he goes, but sometimes it's on the left, and sometimes, I should say he wore it everywhere he went, he passed in 93. But he always wore that wherever he went. Sometimes on the left, sometimes on the right. I'm not sure what the significance of that is. But I do know that this order of order of Leopold is almost identical. And this, oh, by the way, this Templar's Cross is the actual award. This is just the thing that they wear for decoration. You can't really see what the design is supposed to be until you look at the actual award. This is the order of the Supreme Order of Christ that is issued by the Vatican. This is the Holy Sepulcher in the new, pardon me, in the Holy Land. What I truly believe about this area down there, Antarctica, is that there is a society. There is a culture, and they have been able to stop them from being exposed to the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
I think they are staving off the return of Christ. For this very reason, that's why it's science only down there. I know this is a very, very controversial thing to say. But there is something very odd happening in Antarctica. And with all the melting, it really makes me wonder if they're terrified that it's going to get out. What's going on down there? That they are attempting to control when the end can come because that's where this verse comes in to play that's why i put it with those two others the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come meaning everybody will have had the opportunity to come to christ but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth, this place where the Queen of Sheba was from, the Queen of South, of the South. The Queen of the South shall rise up in judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. This is what I really believe the Germans knew. It's what I think they wanted to control because they thought, you know what? If we can control this, we can control history. We can control the future. And it would make perfect sense why we see so many governments saying, okay, this is our part. This is your part. This is your part. They slice it all up. Only scientific research, no military and definitely no religion of any kind. Strange, it's the last place without COVID. Strange, it's the only place on Earth without COVID. I guess I'll just have to leave that there and let everyone kind of chew this over. I'm not sure totally what this all means yet, but I'm going to stay on the trail of this. Like, share, subscribe would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and six miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Crimson King.
Thank you.